Hi, I'm Jeremy London, and I, along with my better half, Leslie, we're gonna take you guys along with us on our journey uh, to not only explore uh, a garden uh, that we started uh, when this whole COVID thing started, uh, but also, uh, you know, I'm sort of a bit of a fledgling chef and I'm always cooking, I'm always inventing and creating stuff. And uh, today, uh, we're gonna start with just an invention. I, I, I think of these things, they pop in my head and I gotta try them and see if they work. Most of the time they do. Um, Leslie and I got started uh, uh, whenever COVID started with our garden and then we, we, we crossed over and started making this, uh, this pepper jelly uh, that we call London's Most Wanted. Um, this is our cowboy. This is the, the sweet version. Uh, our outlaw, which is right here. This is our, our hotter version. And then we have a special edition of the outlaw that'll uh, it'll burn your butt. But um, that's really doing really well. People seem to really like it. And so um, we have an Etsy store at London's Most Wanted. And uh, we make breads and we make all these different kinds of things. And I'm constantly uh, creating and trying to figure out what's next. And so uh, we're always going to mix it up. I'm always, I'm, sometimes I'm going to be doing classic recipes. Sometimes I'm going to be doing recipes of my own. Uh, a lot of times I'm just literally inventing and taking you along for the ride. And then we'll have, you know, um, the most honest people on the planet uh, testing it, uh, which are teenage boys. So um, hopefully maybe we can get one of our kiddos to, uh, to, to test it after it's done. And uh, they'll be very honest with you. If they say it's good, then it's good. All right, so today what I'm gonna do is I actually have decided that I wanna try to apply uh, a bit of what I've learned uh, making banana bread. Uh, which uh, is doing really well. People really love it and they buy it from our Etsy store all the time. Uh, I want to take what I've learned making that and I want to incorporate uh, sauteed apples and some chocolate chips into uh, basically a bread. So I'm making, uh, you know what, maybe uh, somebody out there can name it for us. It's going to, uh, uh, whenever all this is done and whenever um, all is said and done, this will go into our uh, cookbook. We're going to have a London's Most Wanted cookbook um, where we're lucky enough to have um, people that really love our pepper jelly and they send us videos of themselves making uh, these incredible dishes or, or photos and stuff like that and um, we uh, will be picking our favorite ones and putting them in, incorporating them in, into this uh, London's Most Wanted uh, cookbook as well. And so you know, we encourage people to experiment. Uh, you use our product and, uh, you know, uh, tell us how it is because we, we love it. Uh, it's very rewarding. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take sliced apples and we're going to kind of caramelize them a little bit in the, uh, in a pan over here. Let me get these cut up the rest of the way. They started to brown just a little bit because we've had them out here, but I hit them with some lemon juice and kind of stopped that process it really is just kind of you know kind of ugly but it doesn't really change the taste at all um, plus we're gonna be you know cooking it and the best ingredient ever made butter I love you butter oh sorry I had a moment um, anyway so we're gonna be putting uh, lots of butter in this pan and we are going to let that melt. I'm going to add just a dash of uh, olive oil to it. So when this gets nice. So we've let the butter uh, brown a little bit. It gives it, it brings out uh, some flavor and textures. And we're going to take our apples and just going to place them right in this deliciousness. Oh, yes. And then I'm going to throw in tablespoon, a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and we're going to throw in uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon, there we go, alright, take this, 
mix this all in here and get this deliciousness going. We want these sugars to caramelize, the sugars that are in the apples themselves, uh, along with the cinnamon and the brown sugar. These things will be like grandma's apple pie before you know it. So we want to let these continue to just caramelize and get delicious because of what we're going to do. And we want to get them a little soft. Normally, we would want to leave them a little, slightly a little bit al dente, uh, but uh, we're going to eventually sort of puree these a little bit once they get cooked. And so it's okay that they get a little bit overcooked. Now, one of the things that we want is we want them to brown a little bit. And because we have uh, put lemon juice in there, lemon makes it uh, acidic. And acidic, the acidity keeps... Uh, things from browning. And so what we want to do is to get the delicious browning effect, we want to add a little bit of uh, baking soda, which will actually give us a little bit more of an alkaline uh, situation, which will allow for browning. Uh, the alkaline, the alkalinity, see immediately these, the apples are going to start turning a lot more brown because the baking soda, the, the uh, alkaline uh, nature of it over is going to overtake the acidity, um, and acidity keeps things from browning. Browning adds flavor, so we want these apples to get the apple, the, the brown sugar that we added with the butter, are basically turning to caramel, and uh, caramel helping caramelize the apples as well. Ultimately, like I said, this is going to wind up being somewhat pureed and put into this uh, bread with chocolate chips. It's going to be a, 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 an experiment that I don't know how we can go wrong with it. So after we brown this, we're going to take this and we're going to puree it in, uh, in our kitchen over here. I'll shut that off. Now, without making too much of a mess, hopefully. I'm gonna uh, try to get all of this goodness in here. We don't wanna lose a drop. Oh, that delicious sugar and butter. Oh my goodness. I almost wanna just, just eat that the way it is, just like that, it's perfect. Oh, yum. All right, so I like to use the pulse uh, feature on, on these, that way I can kind of control it. I don't want these to get chunky. I don't want to puree them to the sense of where it's applesauce. I want it to still have some chunks left in it. Uh, I think that's gonna probably do it. Oh, it's perfect. Now, we're gonna take this over to our mixing station and start making our apple bread and start getting all the other yummy goodness in there with us. All right, come on over. All right, welcome to our island. It's our island getaway. This is what we consider our island getaway. Anyway, uh, uh, during Corona virus, it was definitely our island getaway, our, our retreat. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, now we have our apple pureed over there somewhat, you know, mushed, I guess we should say, not completely pureed. Um, and now we're going to cream uh, the sugar. So we're going to put uh, a cup of sugar with a stick of butter. Oh man, this is deliciousness. You can't go wrong whenever you're mixing sugar and butter, right? Uh, so we want to get we want to get this going really nice to where it's nice and airy and light. Once we get this nice and blended and get this sort of real light soft texture, we're going to start adding our eggs. Now we get two eggs here, and essentially we're making uh, making buttercream. Really. Uh, Every component of this is so delicious unto itself um, that combining it all seems almost like it's cheating. It's just so good. So now we're going to take these eggs and we're going to put it into our, our whip, our delicious sugar and butter. Oh, we'll taste that. Oh, I'm going to make a puppy pull a freight train. So good. 
All right, so now we're going to start combining our dry ingredients. Over here, we've got uh, two cups of sifted uh, bread flour, and I'm going to take, we've got um, two tablespoons of brown sugar. we got, uh, I'd say about half a cup of semi-sweet chocolates. We'll put those in there. we got some ginger powder, about a pinch of ginger powder. We've got a teaspoon and a half of uh, vanilla extract. We've got a tablespoon, sorry, a teaspoon of baking powder. No, baking soda, sorry. Um, we've got about two tablespoons of sour cream. Making a mess with that, that's always fun. And we've got three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna put those all in here. Get them nice and mixed in, and then the last is we have chopped pecans. We're gonna put some chopped pecans in there. Now, we're gonna get those whooped up. Let me get another spoon here. All right, we're gonna get this going nice and mixed up. Oh, it looks like, a, looks like we're making a cake. It's gonna be better than a cake. Granted, I've never made it before. Um, in my mind, this is gonna be better than a cake. I look forward to proving me right. All right, so we're gonna put the uh, the sugar, butter, uh, and egg into the dry ingredients. Get all that goodness in there. We don't want to leave any of it behind. Like a marine, no good deliciousness left behind. I don't think the marines say that to each other. That would be weird. Anyway, so now we're gonna take our apples that we so beautifully browned and caramelized and then blended. We're gonna take that and put it right in here with our chocolate chips and our Pattern. Now we're going to slowly just start turning all of this in. Um, I, I had a mixer that would help me with all of this, um, but I had it for about five days and um, one of the beaters got stuck on it and so we had to ship it back. And because everybody and their um, grandmother has decided uh, that during all of this lock-in, they're going to do the same thing that we did and start cooking, um, yeah, getting hard to find. Hmm. So we just mix this in. Um, these mixers are all literally back ordered from KitchenAid. Um, that's how popular they are. Man, if you guys could just smell this. Oh, this is incredible. It's got that apple cinnamon butteriness. Mmm. Oh, look at this beautifulness. It almost... It almost reminds me of sort of like oatmeal raisin cookies, but I know that it's better than that because it's it's, it's apples and brown sugar and look at the our oven is ready. So we set the oven over there at 350 degrees. Um, I've got two pre-greased uh, pans that I like to use. I, always, I like to use the uh, the butter. Uh, Crisco because it gives it a, a, a little bit more flavor to it, but we want to grease our pans. Um, I found that these metal pans like this tend to cook these breads uh, a lot more thorough. Uh, whenever I cook a, a banana bread or in a, a glass container, uh, the, the middle, for some reason, the middle of it tends to uh, flatten out. Uh, it never happens with these, and so when I'm cooking these breads, I like to use these metal containers. And so I'm going to take half of our mix here and put it in one pan. Oh man, that looks great. I right, you want to come over and let's, uh, let's show the kids what we're doing here. All right. Are you ready? Okay. Take this. Get all of this deliciousness out of here into the pan. No deliciousness left behind, I'm telling you. 
going to be a tragedy. So we're going to get this in here and spread it all out. So it'll probably be about a, you know, an inch to an inch and a half or so thick. It's going to start out rather thin, but the baking soda that we put into it is going to help it uh, rise uh, over the course of about 40 minutes. So we're going to take these, not to, I'm going to take them to the oven and uh, for 40 minutes on 350. We're going to see what we get here. Hopefully this uh, experiment doesn't fail us. Here we go, this is good. Set our timer for 40 minutes. And we wait. All right. So this is the, the moment that makes me both excited and nervous. Um, this will either be a success or a tremendous failure. Uh, but uh, sometimes we uh, win and sometimes we learn, right? Uh, so, uh, drum roll please. Um, fingers crossed. You know, uh, we can't see in the, the front of our oven and so I have no way of monitoring whether these things are rising or not. This could be flat as a pancake. I have a feeling it's not though. Let's oh, the smell immediately. Ah, <laughs> uh, I uh, am either the luckiest person, or uh, I might know what I'm doing. Look at that. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, so far, I would say this is a success. We are going to make some, uh, some frosting. Uh, to put over it with some butter and powdered sugar once these have cooled and we separate them from the pan. But you definitely never want to cut into these breads too early because essentially they're still cooking. Uh, inside the sugars and starches are still combining to get that final uh, perfect flavor. And so we want to go ahead and let them sit and cool on their own. Uh, that way we don't lose any of that, uh, you know, the caramelization of the sugars, the things that are going on inside there. Uh, make the magic. Um, and then we're going to put some frosting on top of it and we're going to try it. Yeah, these, these cakes have cooled. We're putting our last bit of icing on, but the uh, the real test, I told you, is going to be the, uh, the teenage boy test. All right, so we're going to cut, cut a slice. How's it look? Oh, it looks beautiful. Look at that. You can see the chocolate chips in there. Uh, a bit of apple. Oh my goodness, this is going to be good. All right. Noah, it's up to you, young man. Let us know what you think. All right. What do you think, Noah? Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! We got the thumbs up. Teenage boy thumbs up. Now I get to try it. It's just so much better than I even expected it to be. Truly incredible. Wow. We definitely want to get a lot of the icing on there. Chocolate chips and apples. Who would have thought? We got the pecans in there. It's truly. <sighs> Apple. What are we going to call this? Apple, chocolate chips, apples, pecans. It's just delicious. Thank you guys for joining us. And if you like uh, what we're doing here and you, you want to watch us grow, hit that subscribe button down there. Thank you. Have a good day. Man, I want to eat all of this now. This is delicious.